Hello friends, this video on oscillations part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 17 before going ahead with part 18. So let us start doing that. Potential energy is denoted by a capital U. In, a, in the same way as kinetic energy is represented by a capital K. This is also a time dependent force. I mean, this is also time dependent. Now, potential energy, we know that for potential energy exists for conservative forces. Whenever we talk of potential energy, we talk of forces like force in a spring, where the potential energy exists due to configuration of the spring. So, un, un, in such cases, what is the expression for potential energy? It is equal to half k x square, right? So, using that expression, we can say that x is equal to a cos omega t plus phi for a simple harmonic motion. So, the potential energy in case of a particle executing simple harmonic motion will be equal to half k x square, that is half k a square cos square omega t plus phi. So this is the expression of potential energy for a particle executing simple harmonic motion. So seeing this we can see that this is again a time independent because it depends on time. This is also a periodic function of time. It varies periodically with time as if this also involves a cosine function. The time period here is also t by 2. So I leave it up to you. This is a kind of assignment for you to find out how the time period for the kinetic energy and potential energy function comes out to be t by 2. How is the variation of potential energy? It is the reverse of kinetic energy. In this case, the potential energy is maximum at the extreme ends, that is, and it is minimum at mean position. So at mean position, it is 0 and at extreme positions, it is maximum. So this is mean position where potential energy is 0 and these are the two extreme positions where potential energy is maximum. Now very similar to kinetic energy, let us now plot potential energy with respect to time. So here also we will calculate the values of potential energy at different instants of time in the same way as we did for kinetic energy. So let us start doing that. Now what is the expression of potential energy? Expression of potential energy came out to be half k a square cos square omega t plus phi. Now here also let us assume that the initial phase or the phase constant is zero. So uh, you, I hope you are clear with this point now that why do we always assume phi to be zero? That's because we assume that the initial state when we are starting the motion of the particle, we assume that the state of the particle is starts from zero. Normally this is how we assume so that there is it is not necessary that always phi is zero. But for mathematical simplicity, we assume that the particle starts from phase 0. So here also we assume the same. So in that case, let us start from the first instant that is at t is equal to 0. So at t is equal to 0, the particle is at the extreme position. <coughs> so the value of potential energy at t is equal to 0 would be half k a square cos square 0. So cos 0 is 1. So this value will be half k a square. Now let us calculate at the next instant of time that is at t is equal to t by 4. So at t is equal to t by 4 the object will be at mean position. So th because this was your mean position this is your extreme position. This is again your extreme position. The motion starts from here at t is equal to 0, it comes here at t is equal to t by 4, it goes here at t is equal to t by 2, again it comes back here at t is equal to 3t by 4 and it goes back to the starting point at t is equal to capital T. 
right? So at t is equal to t by 4, object is at mean position. So value of potential energy at t by 4 will be equal to half k a square cos square omega. What is omega? Omega is 2 pi by t into t by 4. So this t and t will get cancelled. 2 will cancel 4 by 2. So we get half k a square cos square pi by 2. What is cos pi by 2? Cos pi by 2 is 0. So this value comes out to be 0. So let us calculate the next instance that is at t is equal to t by 2. So at t by 2 the particle is again at the other extreme end. So value of u at t by 2 is equal to half k a square cos square 2 pi by t into t by 2. So t t will cancel 2 2 will cancel so we are left with half k a square cos square pi. What is cos pi? Cos pi is minus 1. So minus 1 square will be plus 1. So we will get it as half k a square. So if you see the value of the potential energy again is varying between 0 and the maximum value of potential energy which is half k a square. So similarly, if you calculate for some few other instances, you will get the values as at t is equal to 3t by 4, it will again come to the mean position. And if you calculate the value, you will find that u at 3t by 4 will be 0. Similarly, at t is equal to capital T, the object will again be at the initial extreme position from where it started. And the value of potential energy there would be again half k a square. Right, so these are the values which we obtained. Now using this, let us plot the graph. Again, we take time along x-axis and potential energy along y-axis. So it says that at t is equal to 0, potential energy is half k a square. Let us suppose that this value represents half k a square. So at t is equal to 0, it is half k a square. So this is the point. t is equal to t by 4. Let us say this is t by 4. This is t by 2. This is 3t by 4. And this is t. So at t by 4, potential energy is 0. At t by 2, the potential energy is half k a square again. 3t by 4, it is again 0. And at t, again, half k a square. So if you join this, you will get a curve like this. I'm sorry, the curve is not very nice. But please manage with us. Right? So this kind of curve. So both for kinetic energy and potential energy, what is the difference that we found? In case of a kinetic energy, it was a sine curve. Whereas in case of a potential energy, it was a cosine curve. Right? Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, Study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.